What's up, y'all? It's Trilla, and we are here at a dope artist for you, a artist, a series, and today we have Jay Amore. What it do? What it do? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, Jay Moore, where you from? What you do? What you like to talk about in your music? Um, I'm from Washington D.C. I'm from Northeast Washington D.C. Um, <laughs> you're already a gang. Uh, and in my music, I just love talking about my life experiences. So, whatever I'm going through, um, that's what I'm talking about. So, it's always different, and it's always something new, or you know. So it seems like through your music that you like to travel a lot. Um, where are some of the places that you've been and are planning to go in the future? Um, I've been to all the major cities. So Chicago, New York, um, L.A., Philly. And I'm from D.C., so I'm already there. But, uh, yeah, and I done seen all of D.C., you know. But, oh, London, Amsterdam. And I plan on going back to London if COVID isn't an issue, you know, so. And with the COVID thing being an issue, I see that you've, like, used this time in your artistry to kind of bring some new things to the table with your virtual experiences and things like that. So uh, where do those ideas inspire you? Like, how did that, how did you get that inspiration? Uh, First off, time, you know. With COVID coming and stuff, like, I had more time to, like, actually, like, think about all the ideas I wanted to put together. Like, when you at work, you don't really get to think about your ideas. You kind of got to keep the, the job mission first. So, um, just having that extra time. And I just wanted to do something, like, doing a virtual show was on my bucket list as a kid. So, I was like, oh, I can do this. I got the camera. Um, I had some friends tell me, like, yo, you can put this together. Like, if you do this, like, they they help, they help my idea expand so that's how the virtual show came about and i put that together and it just took off from there and it's like it's a crazy thing to see that's your heart man you always thinking outside the box um so music any releases coming up this year with content going crazy what you got going on um i'm dropping talk your shit this month and then i got a couple of more music video releases um just a lot of things. Got a network coming soon, so be doing things like this, everything, vlogging. Just want to show more visuals, you know what I'm saying, since we can't really see each other. So I'm going to be taking a step forward with the um, the virtual thing right now until we get back to normal, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. And what can we expect from JMR outside of the music? Like, I know you be going crazy with the merch and things. Do you have any other dope ass business ideas and ventures outside of the music that you have dropped in? Yes. Um, I have a tea business coming with you. We got that on the way. Uh just a few a few things. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get very I ain't gonna get y'all too much, you know what I'm saying? But things like that, getting into health. Um one thing about me and my products and things that I create, I want them to be things that can help us in life. You know what I'm saying? Like if we create tea we ain't gotta go buy nobody else's tea, you know what I'm saying? We could just have our own tea. We can make the make the stuff us, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. And I will say like one thing about you is you always doing business with the homies, always incorporating your friends and plans on how to get bread up. So like what advice would you have to other people about how they can like collaborate better with others? Um, communication, just talking to people. Uh and everybody communicates different, so learning learning people's languages, you know what I'm saying? Some people may say things away or use certain words, but they might mean them just like you, but you just gotta learn a language uh, uh others. And that's how you that's how you can get better with that, you know what I'm saying? And the only advice I can give the people is what I would do. So if it don't work for you, it don't mean my advice didn't work. It just mean one, either you're not me or like you didn't really take that approach, but you gotta you gotta test things out. That's that's the only way to know how things are gonna work for you if you test them out, if you do them, not if you just keep the 
the ideas in your head and never execute them. That's facts. Because then when you get in the testing phase, you realize, like, what's going to work. What's yeah, gonna work. you'd be like, oh, dang, this is really a lot of work. As a DJ, I thought I just had to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you got some new music for us today. You got some old music for us today. What's the uh, vibe? We got some new music uh, off, the, off the album, Talk Your Shit. I'm going to be doing, damn, I did not forget the song, no. It's Miracle. That's what the song is called. Miracle featuring Alex Vaughn, produced by Super Static. And it's one of the one of the first songs that I started with the album when I um when I started making it. And Talk Your Shit is just basically a, a bunch of tracks with a lot of my friends, producers, and just saying what's really on your mind, because I feel like a lot of people don't really do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't we don't say what's on our we say what's on our mind to our friends, but not to the world, you know what I'm saying? The world need to hear so we all can be on the same type time and push people forward, you know? That's well, let's get into it. We're going to get into now. Maybe I've been tripping lately, but I need you to come and save me. The media gon' call me crazy Won't ever let them people break me I'm getting down to the business I gotta get off the block I know some people just did They really love me a lot If I'm gon' give you some shit I get you all that I got Forever sticks on my word Whether you like it or not Dreams come true. 